What's up? This is Quark2448. We're following Simulator 17 Mod Review. Today we'll be taking a look at a snowmobile, semi, a few hook trucks, dump truck, tractor, and a little boy. Up first, we'll be taking a look at a brand new snowmobile made by Lambo Mods. There's a few different options when you do purchase it in the store. It does have a yellow and black paint scheme, which is pretty cool, and there's a lot of detail throughout the entire snowmobile. Up front, guys, since it does have headlights in the back, it does have a brake light, which is a pretty cool feature. It does say Lambo Mods, and it's a ski doo, which is pretty cool. Once we hop on the inside, it goes 61 miles per hour now it does have working lights which is pretty cool up front they are very realistic and as you guys can see on the seat cushion you can see stitching and overall a lot of detail throughout now it does have the feature if you do flip it over you could reset it right where you are so you do not have to go all the way back to the spawn which is pretty cool now it does have all working animations down below there for the tracks which is pretty cool we'll be taking this four spin and as you guys can see this is very fast 61 miles per hour in the first person view is pretty nice done and take a look at that that looks pretty cool and you guys can see it does have a caution sign and also a chrome gas cap which is also a pretty cool feature all of the links to all of the mods will be down below in the description i do recommend you go check them out these are some pretty cool mods we are taking a look at today up next, we'll be taking a look at a Lizard Cab over semi truck. There's a few different versions in the store. There's a 6x6 or there's a 6x4, which is pretty cool. And as you guys can see, this is a cab over. It is color changeable, and overall, this looks pretty cool. A lot of detail, awesome looking wheels. You guys can see the exhaust comes out of the side. And then in the back, you do have the option for the back hitch, which is also a pretty cool feature. Once we hop on the inside, this goes 61 miles per hour. You guys can see working turn signals, lights, reverse lights, everything like that does work on this which is pretty cool and then up front you guys can see all of those lights do work and it actually looks like you could slide the hitch in the back which is pretty cool the fifth wheel hitch slides back and forth that's a very cool feature especially when different trailers have different tongues and everything like that on the inside view it does have working steering wheel working gauges and working mirrors and overall this is one very nicely done lizard semi truck looks awesome we'll be taking this for a spin seeing how this handles and overall the handling so far is pretty good there there is a little bit of body roll which is pretty realistic for a cab over. Like I was saying, this is color changeable and there's a few different options. There's a 6x6 and a 6x4. While we are using this semi truck, we'll be taking a look at this brand new little boy. It looks similar to one we have featured in the past, but it does have some brand new wheels on it, which is pretty cool. And it also does have beacon lights. It does have a locking script and you could raise and lower those ramps. So kind of pull this forward as you guys can see. I mean, this thing looks awesome. Very wide and very long trailer. But as you come around here to the back, these are brand new wheels on it. These wheels look awesome. Very nicely done. A lot of detail on the tire and on the rim part. The trailer does have all working lights in the back which is pretty cool and it does have a hitch if you do want to add a dolly to it which is a pretty cool feature. But overall very nice trailer and I'm excited to have a pretty large one of these in the game. But we'll be disconnecting from that and parking up this truck. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a brand new man hook truck. It is a twin steer, which is pretty cool. And as you guys can see, it does have a spare tire. A lot of different things all the way around, which is pretty cool. And then in the back, it does have a bumper pull hitch. And it works with the IT runner pack, which is pretty cool. Once we hop on the inside, top speed of 51 miles per hour. All these lights work, which is pretty cool. It does have the arm working. That's nice. Twin steer works on it, as you guys can see. Very nicely done on the suspension. And it does have two beacon lights up top. A lot of lights in the front which are pretty helpful when using this at night and overall pretty nicely done on the inside view working mirrors working gauges and working steering wheel and overall very nicely done on the man interior view but we'll be taking this four spin seeing how this handles and overall this thing looks awesome looks like the turning radius is a little slow and I believe when the arm is not lowered all the way it does drive a little slow but take a look at that guys like I was saying when it is uh, not lowered and into the travel position it won't let you drive fast but we'll be taking this for a spin this twin steer is very nicely done there's a few different engine options and it is color changeable which is also a pretty cool feature up next, we'll be taking a look at a man truck. This is a 10x10, 10 10, which is pretty cool. Up front, you guys can see it does have a lot of lights up top, two beacon lights. Now, this is a special color for it, and it is also color changeable. These wheels look pretty cool as you come around to the side. Now, this truck, you could put many different beds on, which is pretty cool. This wheel also turns, so that means it's a tri-turn, which is pretty cool. Both of these do not turn. In the back, you guys can see it does have 
few different hitches, PTO, and take a look at all of this detail here with the PTO shaft, everything like that, and the drive shaft. Once you're up on the inside, this goes 50 miles per hour. All of the lights do work. Take a look at those pretty cool lights. Up front, you guys can see two beacon lights, and all of those do work. And it also does have a visor up top, which is pretty cool on the inside view. Now, the interior lights do light up when you do have the headlights on, which is pretty cool. It does show that you do have your turn signals on, working mirrors, and working turn signals, which is pretty cool. We'll be taking this four spin, seeing how this handles, and as you guys can see, three axles do turn, which is pretty helpful. And I mean, this is one very long truck, since it's a 10x10, 10 10, which is pretty cool. And up next, we'll be taking a look at a Mercedes dump truck. This is color changeable in the store. Up front, you guys can see it does have a lot of different lights down below, in the middle, up top, and some of them are protected, which is pretty cool. As we come around to the side, these are some pretty large wheels. It does have an air compressor, and it looks like there's a cover on the dump bed. Now, it looks like this is a single rear axle and not a dually, which is okay, but preferred is a dually for dump beds and as you guys can see this is where it will come out and it does have a hitch which is pretty cool once we hop on the inside this goes 45 miles per hour all of the lights do work everything like that you could take this blue cover off and take a look at that dump bed that's pretty cool now you could change it to many different sides that's a very cool feature up front you guys can see all of the lights do work and it does have one single hydraulic in the center which is pretty cool once you lower that and hop on the inside it has working steering wheel working mirrors and working gauges and overall very nicely done on this so we'll be taking this for a spin seeing how this dump truck handles if you do have any cool video ideas with any of these mods let me know down below in the comments i really do like featuring all these mods in many different videos on the channel which is pretty cool and i also do like showcasing all of the modders hard work with uh, making these mods public up next we'll be taking a look at a john deere tractor this is the 8400r this thing looks pretty cool there's many different engine options and other options in the store and you guys can see a lot of detail up front it does have a front weight which is pretty cool and take a look at these dual wheels on each side that's awesome once you're up on the inside this has a top speed of 32 miles per hour looks like IC was enabled last but take a look at this guys this thing looks pretty cool overall this is awesome and I mean this looks pretty cool so up front you guys can see all the headlights do work the work lights up top now on the inside view it does have working mirrors working steering wheel and you guys can see the shifter also moves which is pretty cool now we will not be enabling IC because it does interfere with HUD hider but hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.